Here we are after I have done the initial installation and I've just rebooted and it's asking me to log in. So you click on the username, you type in your password that you set up during the install. If you've forgotten that password, you will need to do a reinstall and we'll just wait for a moment. The only other thing I want to do after we are um, logged in is I want to show the network settings or how to set the network settings. So we're going to come up here to the top right hand corner, click on wired settings, wired connected and wired settings. We are going to click on this little gear icon to go to the settings. We're coming over to IPv4. We're going to choose manual. And now this is critical. You want to make sure you put in the correct addresses. So I'll give you a brief overview of addresses. As I look back here on this page, you, or you ask your network administrator, if you're not in my class, but you can look back on this page. This is the range of IP addresses that are checked out to me. Each machine, in order to communicate on the network, needs uh, three pieces of information. It needs its own IP address. It needs to know where the default gateway is or the default gateway IP address. And it needs to know who to contact for the DNS servers. So here's, I have this, uh, these numbers here. My align, uh, allocated network range is from dot eight to dot 15. That means uh, this is my network to use as I see fit. Well, kind of. The dot eight is your network ID. You cannot assign that anywhere. That's just, it's a number, great, that represents the, uh, the network identifier. You can learn more about that in networking class. The dot nine, the next address, is your default gateway. Now yours is gonna be different numbers than mine. If you use my numbers, it's not going to work. So you use the plus one, add one to whatever number's listed here for you. Mine's dot nine, that's my gateway. And then dot 15, we can't use that one either beyond the scope of this class to discuss why, but I can use any other number in between to assign to my virtual machines. So I can use, I can't use nine. Remember I can use 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I can use any of those to assign to my virtual machines. I'm gonna use 14. So come back here and say 144.38.216.14. My net mask is everyone's gonna be the same in this class. Uh, 248. That's beyond the scope of the class to talk about what that means again. I've already told you the gateway address and mine is dot nine and yours is going to be different. Finally, I'll probably add some DNS and I got cut off. Um, so we were talking about gateway, make sure your gateway is correct. And then uh, DNS, we're all going to have the same addresses for this. This is the machines that we should contact in order to uh, ask what name maps to a certain IP address, which DNS servers. Okay, so then you hit apply, and I guess I already did that, but I can do it again. I'll hit apply, and then um, I to, I'm gonna click on that to turn off my connection and click on that to turn it back on. You should see everything be happy with this icon up in the top right hand corner, and then I'll probably open up a terminal, so you come down here and you type in term and it, you can click on that open up a terminal and you want to test it by doing something like ping 8.8.8.8 grid control c will kill that or ping maybe google.com and make sure dns resolution works control c to kill that networking is good this video is done